We want to tell you about a remarkable surgery in the UK. The first face to be reconstructed using 3D printed parts. I can't remember literally the accident. That man, Stephen Power, was in a motorcycle accident two years ago. He fractured his skull, shattered his jaw, and broke both cheekbones. To help restore the shape of his face, doctors and engineers took scans of his skull and used a 3D printer to create titanium guides and implants. The result is being called groundbreaking. I'm just glad, in a way, that they have developed that sort of technology, which they are able to basically put me back together. Dr. Peter Lynn joins us now. He's helped us understand medical stories before. We've seen these 3D printers used largely for gimmicky reasons, but this sounds really meaningful. Yeah, so in the past, we would have to guess at the shape of this thing, make our best guess, and then try to put it in. In this case, they had an exact piece along with all the parts that they needed to hold that bone in place or that implant in place. So everything was very precise with this 3D printing technology. And where could this technology take medicine next? So imagine we can print out an organ for you. Let's start off with skin. Let's say you need some skin. So I grow some of your skin cells. So instead of putting in the printer black ink, we would put in a cartridge with all these skin cells. Now we print a layer of the skin, all these cells, and now I've given you skin. Now imagine if I print it in three dimensions, so a layer and another layer, but this time I use your liver cells. So now I may be able to print you an organ that you can now transplant into that particular person. Which would mean what to the notion of transplant lists and people waiting on them? Because right now we're waiting for donors and things like that. So this way we can actually create the organs and it's from your own cells. So therefore there will be no rejection. So imagine dialysis, we can make you a kidney that's from you and therefore you won't reject it. Let's say in the bone situation, as in this case, we grow you a bone piece. So that piece is not a titanium anymore. It's actually your own bone that will incorporate. And that's sort of the, the brave new world that we're heading into as we use this 3D technology. A remarkable world. Thanks for telling us about it. Thanks, Diana.